What is up guys? Welcome back to another daily update video. So this is day six. Um, yeah, basically I'm just showing you guys my progression every single day so you guys can kind of just see where I'm heading. Um, and also, you know, just kind of learn about um, how to progress in the game. I don't know everything, I'm still working through it for the first time, but I decide to you know, basically record my process um, every single day, or progress and process every single day, so you guys can see what I actually do um, every day. So my next big goal, uh, or y yesterday, I um, I was raising my dark kraken to to max level. Um, I recently six start her, and now she's she's maxed out. I'm planning to remove her runes and completely switch them up. Um, these runes are actually really really shitty, so I definitely want to get new runes for her. And my next big project probably is the Van Helsing. I'm probably going to, um, I think just today I should be able to raise him to max level at level 50. And basically just farm a little bit more gold while I farm more Gatitos. I'm planning to collect a few more Gatitos just in case. Maybe I want the light one. Um, I think there's still enough time to make a light one and also get to evil 3 if I if I just keep farming um, for the next few days I definitely should be able to do it and I'm also working on a Mona I I actually really want to raise the water Mona instead of the wood one I think the water one's also really really strong um, I don't really need any more wood units so with the water Mona I'll be able to have a nuker um, that has morale boost and defense down so I think she's gonna be pretty good um, definitely a good monster because I'm missing I'm missing good water nukers. I could use the succubus, but you know, this is attack down. Actually wait, 30% morale boost attack down. She's also pretty strong, but I, I can't raise her to evil 3, so she, she's only going to be at evil 1. But I have a lot of resources to raise um, this Mona to evil 3, and I'll definitely be able to get enough resources to raise another wood Mona in the future if I need to. So that's the, that's the next little thing that I want to do. Um, also the water or not water, the Fire Arthur. I'm planning to raise him to 6 stars. He's probably going to be my next 6 star. I'm waiting for the Fire Day to come around. Well, not the Fire Day, but the, the one with the mixed elements. Um, I'll definitely be able to get enough, and then I'll just raise him to 6 stars and get him to max level the next day. I think he's really, really nice. He's just basically used for his 100% chance to stun. This is very nice for um, when you're clearing like the first stage of a dungeon and also really good for PvP so definitely want to raise him to 6 stars. I'm not too concerned about PvP because PvP is mainly like just for fun right now. I don't really get any really good rewards for climbing to a high rank and I don't really think you need like a lot of really good monsters to do um, arena offense when you want to climb because most people are setting up like a one monster defense so if you refresh your list enough you're definitely going to be able to find those and I think that's pretty much it so I'm gonna have to like not raise my Gatito first um, I'm planning to raise the Van Helsing over the Gatito also I want to do a few more um, rebirths in order to get enough um, hunters to get my light hunter to evil 3 as well because you know, I definitely want to do that. Wait, not this Light Hunter. Um, this Light Hunter to Evil 3. I should be able to do it. I just basically need like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I just need like 12 more Hunters and I, I can get him to Evil 3. So I just need to do like a few more summons, um, farm a few more stuff, and then do, do a few rebirths. And I'll definitely be able to get him to Evil 3. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much it in terms of progression. Um, just a little last last thing. Um, there was there was a series I was doing before called the like the beginner's guide series. Basically, I just went over what to do early game on, or you know during the early game, and then how to progress um, to to the mid game. And I think my I'm kind of like reaching the point where I could call myself like I'm kind of entering mid game. I would classify early game as anything b before um, Golems B7 because Golems B7 is kind of like you know people are kind of here for a long time until they eventually get all the six stars which is a lot of work um, in order to get into B10 so I would probably call this like you know mid game uh, but like early game when you're farming like maybe B4 or B6 and trying to raise your first um, doing Starstone and raising like a 
whole bunch of five stars in order to progress to the mid game. I would kind of call that the the early game. So my my guy's kind of reaching that point. So I'm kind of um, I'm about to end the series. I think I'm gonna do like two more videos. I'm gonna talk like one more video about um, like resource management, basically like how to use your astro gems and gold and stuff. Like what to buy, what to um, use it like and, and farm towards, you know, and stuff about like arena tickets and stuff from the um, Astromon League and like the quest and everything that you should do every single, um, you know, every single day and stuff. And then like I'll have like a final video, like it's going to be perfect, it's going to be like 10, 10 parts. Uh, the final part is going to be something about, um, you know, just basically I'm going to cover everything else that I've ever missed. So I'll definitely be needing you, your, your guys' help on that because I need like, you know, I, I, I won't know what I missed. Like I, I do know I missed a few things, but I'm going to be going back and hopefully um, by the time I make that video, I'll be able to cover everything that I've ever missed um, and it'll be like a really complete series. And it's definitely something I'll be I'll want to update later on, maybe like a month later. Um, I'll make like a new like updated beginner's guide about how I think like progression should be done. And then after like now I can now that I'm starting to work um, in the like you know within the mid game, I'm going to be progressing onto the late game as well. And then I'll be able to make some guides for the mid game, you know, like Golems B seven eight nine. Um, Stuff like Tower of Chaos. I'm kind of, I'm kind of uh, moving on to that as well. I'm on 35. I definitely should be able to clear it this month. It's I've heard it's not that difficult to be able to actually clear it. You don't need a whole bunch of six stars or anything like that. So, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and yeah, thank you guys always for for your help, um, all your recommendations and everything. It it really does help me progress and just makes makes everything so much easier like you know it in in terms of um content creation and stuff because the further i progress the easier it is for me to make more videos um so for you guys to watch so yeah if you if you are still here um please please leave me a like it does really help me a lot if you leave leave a like for me and like you don't, a lot of people don't understand like why YouTubers say leave a like. It it helps a lot. Like it makes it so that the re the videos are like recommended to more people and more people are able to see it. Um, so if you like any of my my videos, then it does get shared a lot more. So yeah, definitely do that if you want to support me. It's probably the best um, and most effective way to do it. Thank you guys so much. Um, I I hope to make a lot more great content in the future. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.